Hello and welcome to the 16th episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the Amelie, a Spanish LMG derived from the German MG3, developed by the same department as the G3 battle rifle. The Amelie's damage is high. It is the only light machine gun capable of killing with two shots anywhere to the body at a close range. At a distance, damage steadily drops to a four-shot kill. Outside of your two-shot kill range, it's important to remain in a good covered position, else other rifles may best you. Rate of fire is low, at just 631 rounds per minute. This means it's important to aim your shots, as your two-shot ability will require accurate direction to be effective. From the hip, you will find performance underwhelming. The large spread typical of LMGs and slower output makes for inconsistent performance, with SMGs and shotguns having a clear edge in unexpected firefights. Recoil is moderate, with high per shot kick, moderated by the slower rate of fire. Firing in short bursts will help keep any drift in your aim in check, and will prolong your magazine to help provide a sustained defense. The LMG's key strength is in such longevity, rather than pinpoint accuracy. In many cases, sheer volume of fire can prove more effective than pausing for accuracy. Aim time is quite slow, at 350 milliseconds. This means it's best to plan your defensive position ahead of time, rather than running and gunning with the weapon. Movement speed is also slow. As with most of the LMGs, you'll move at 80% of the base speed. However, magazine capacity is very generous, at 100 rounds. Paired with a slow rate of fire, such supply means the Amelie is perhaps the best choice for sustained defense of an objective. Unfortunately, reload times are painful. A full 7 seconds for a resupply means you'll be reliant on your teammates to provide cover, while you are left vulnerable. When building an LMG class, it normally makes sense to focus on survivability and resilience. This way, you can make more effective use of the weapon in the defensive role it was designed for. The Amelie excels at close-range lockdown, where you can make use of its higher damage and sustained fire to repel enemy attackers. While you can engage targets at long range with suppressive fire, the damage drop means it can be difficult to secure kills, with more precise weapons able to drop you faster. For your attachments, the muzzle break is an option that will extend your two-hit kill range, a vital trait of the weapon that can make or break your defense. The difference between a 2 and 3 shot kill is substantial, and given the slower rate of fire, it's definitely worthwhile investing in the superior range. Given the substantial recoil of the Amelie, the foregrip can be worthwhile too, taming your weapon's kick to better take advantage of automatic fire. For your perks, Blast Shield is perhaps the most sensible choice for any defensive set, with its resistance blunting your enemy's explosive options and forcing them into direct combat. Attack Resist is a great addendum, rounding out your defensive abilities to cover tactical grenades as well, and making sure your vision is always clear. ICU speeds health recovery and will do much to help sustain your defense. Otherwise, you might become increasingly fragile as incoming shots chip away at your health reserves. Beyond this, it can also be wise to invest in the trophy system if you want to lock down a single location with its ability to instantly neutralize enemy grenades, saving both yourself and teammates from any damage whatsoever. Alternatively, you could use the extra attachment perk if you'd like an optic on your weapon, or add in armor-piercing rounds for rapid killstreak and cover denial. With these options, you won't be the fastest on the battlefield, but you will prove particularly stubborn to dislodge from your position, and you'll be able to emit an astounding level of defensive fire. The Amelie is the most powerful automatic weapon in Call of Duty Ghosts, with immense potential damage at a close range. This means you're able to quickly dispatch incoming attackers with just two shots, making for a potent defense capable of shutting out even the most determined. Paired with the high-capacity magazine you'd associate with an LMG, you'll hit hard and go long, with few weapons able to offer such sustained support. However, the weapon offers lumbering performance with a lethargic rate of fire, meaning patience and preparation are key, and reactive fire a critical weakness of the weapon. Attempting to keep pace with nimbler opponents will only yield failure, 
with both the poor headfire performance and slow aim time conspiring against you. Still, there are no weapons better suited for sustained defense than the LMGs, and within their niche, they do perform very well. Should you need to steal yourself for an incoming assault, don't rely on some tin pot weapon. Instead, equip the Amelie for a cast iron defense. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time when I'll be covering the MR28. Until then, farewell.